Welcome to the 4am club. So we thought we'd just do a quick video just so you know who we are and what we are doing and what we're about. So just quickly, our mission is to equip young adults with the tools to discover the power of self-development through listening, learning and reflecting as you find your why. So I guess that brings us to the next question of who are we? Who are we? Well, my name's Leroy. And I'm Sam. And we've been mates since we were five years old. Like kindergarten? Yeah, kindergarten. So, I was born in Zimbabwe and I moved to Australia when I was, yeah, five, six. And I had the pleasure of meeting Sam at primary school, but more, I, I think our friendship started to blossom on the football field under the <laughs> mighty um, under six Ks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, me, I guess, I have been living in Australia pretty much my whole life. I was actually born in the UK, though. Mm. A little fun fact for everybody. I don't know if anyone's ever picked up on my slight, slight English accent when I'm tired and I'm trying to, like, pronounce my words a bit more. Um, but I moved to Victoria as soon as I finished uni for, like, two years. And I got back, you know, just over a month ago. Mm. And, yeah, and that <laughs> brings us to here now today. Here we are. Yeah. So, the 4M Club, what is it? Well... I guess one easy way of describing it is a podcast to start mm. off with. I guess that's the main thing that we would be. Yeah. But I guess to us, it's a bit more than that. Yeah. It's always been a bit more than that. I guess it's it's more like trying to create we have like a community of yeah. like young people just trying to help young people, essentially. Mm. Yeah. Focusing on self-development. Mm. And All just things. Exploring and law, like learning and like, we've, yeah, we've stuffed up along the way, but we've also learned some amazing things along the way too. Mm. Yeah. So I guess that come brings us back to you know what actually is the 4AM Club and there are a whole bunch of uh, podcast episodes and you know video episodes now that we've progressed this far on you know things that we're learning or things that we want to learn or just things that we've experienced throughout our life so far. Mm. You know we've got a whole bunch of different little series on different you know bits and bobs here and there, but that core thing there is pretty much just so we can learn ourselves. Yeah, that's that that's self development. And um, we do like interviews too, which mm. is which is really interesting. So check out our interviews. Yeah, there we essentially just talk to a whole bunch of people all across the world, essentially on different things, but trying to really like find out like what makes them what makes them tick and what gives them the capacity to you know learn and keep evolving mm. uh, in their in their profession or their career or wherever their hobbies are. So I guess that brings us to the next part of why start the 4am club yeah so we started the 4am club in 2020 august uh if you're watching this a few years later that's when uh <laughs> our good old friend coronavirus or covid19 as you say hit us yeah, hard put the world on pause essentially for a while mm. so yeah we were both locked down um kind of tackling our own demons and yeah. well sam was leaving living like regionally so yeah about a good 12 hour drive, but yeah. a simple phone, phone call away. <laughs> yeah. And, um, we would, we used to have like these hectic phone calls like that for two hours, just kind of talking about our life, what's happening, even though not much was happening, <laughs> but like somehow that still just ended up going forever. Yeah. And, and then we just thought, you know what, like, it was like, huh, wouldn't it be funny if people got to like listen into these conversations <laughs> And yeah, it was just uh, kind of snowballing from there. I remember, I remember we were having a phone conversation outside and then I was just kind of sitting there in this shitty deck chair. It's been having like, just a crap day. And like, we wanted to find something that we could like pour our energy into mm. and like our passion. Cause like, there was at a point where, you know, our jobs were kind of changing in terms of like of what we kind of wanted essentially. And yeah, all of a sudden we kind of had this thing where like, it was like, <laughs> what if we started a podcast? And it was just like, <laughs> Yeah, what if we started a podcast? And, you know, here we are now. You know, six months down the track. We now have three cameras ready to go. Dang, dang, dang. We got a bunch of mics. And, mm. yeah, essentially that was the main reason was just to be able to kind of be there for each other. Yeah. But also to be able to try and, you know, implement and learn all these things that we've been you know, reading about, studying about. And I think for me, it was just having like a blank canvas to be like, just unleash like my creative side. Mm. Like no one else was going to control like how the podcast went. And essentially it was 
how it went along was was directly correlated to how much effort and energy we put into it. Yeah. And nothing else was going to change that. Yeah. It's, you put in... You get out what you put in, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much kind of like why. And I think another big reason was that, yeah, we wanted to get a bit more creative and like develop ourselves and our skills. Mm-hmm. And we're both quite into entrepreneurship and we thought like maybe this is a nice little gateway entry of, you know... Because, like, that's what entrepreneurs do, really. Yeah. They kind of start something from nothing. Yeah. And we were like, you know, I will give the podcast a hot crack. Yeah, we'll, and we'll set it up like a proper business, and that's yeah. what we did. And now, you know, we're all learning all these crazy things about marketing, you know, product development mm-hmm. is coming along the way, and just coming up with fresh ideas all the time. You know, it's been the most crazy roller coaster of a ride. Yeah. And yeah. It's just, just such a beautiful outlet just to come and talk a lot of shit and And, you know slap the label on there being like yep (laughs) (laughs) self-development tick but yeah i think another big reason of like why we started it was because we both love learning i think that's Mm. the main thing and we would all we kept seeing from all the podcasts we listened to all the books that we kind of read was that everyone out there was like a specialist or it was like a you know, really high up in a particular area. Yeah. They'd been through it. They knew exactly how things went and they were teaching other people. Mm. The main thing we found was that no one was really just kind of, had no idea what they were talking about and just like trying to do it at the same time. Yeah. Like literally just kind of being a rookie and being like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try this. Mm. And then kind of documenting how, how it went in terms of what was good, what was bad. And I just think that like for me, if someone kind of, we learn from each other, I think, better than we learn from anybody else. Oh, 100%. So, we were like, well, why don't we just kind of take that to the world and, like, you know, give, see if we can give everyone else in terms of what we have for each other, mm. you know? And I, I remember so clearly there was, like, early on in the beginning, it was like, well, even if we don't, because we weren't even going to release it to anyone for yeah, a long time. Yeah, we, we just had a, like, just recording on our shitty thing and... Yeah. Yeah, the, the episodes are so different from like what they are now. Yeah, and then, yeah, at some point we were like, you know what, let's release it to the world. And then overcoming that you know, uncomfortable barrier was a pretty big step in the end. Yeah, that the fear, and that was, um, it's what grips pretty much everyone and stops them from pursuing anything they wanted. And we, I don't say we overcame it, but I feel like we overcame it by starting this podcast and opening it up to our network, making ourselves, I guess... Easily open for criticize, criticization. Yeah. Yep. Is that the word, criticization? Yeah. I, there we go. <laughs> I learned something today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's that's essentially like the 4am club and mm. we will keep on releasing episodes and keep growing mm. um, the community and just sort of see where it takes us. It keeps on kind of highlighting that that age old piece of information just keep on, you know, being bold and brave. Mm. You just can't really care what other people think. And I think this has been the main thing kind of just showed us essentially. Mm. And, we'll, you know, we'll keep learning along the way. But yeah, well, thanks for listening, everybody. You know, we're, we hope you enjoyed it and you know a little bit more about us now.